Welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. We're going to do some more power rankings. Um, right now, we're going to do New York LCN Fast Risers Fall 2024 Power Rankings. And unlike um, some of the other rankings I did where I was not ranking guys that are locked up, this is going to include guys um, that are incarcerated. And the guys that are incarcerated are on the verge of getting out, but they are. Um, wards of the state. So uh, let's go from 10 to 1, and uh, this hits all five families, and it's the guys that are, uh, you know, if we were uh, talking about, you know, NFL draft status, we might call these Wall Street wonders, guys that stocks are are heading towards uh, the stratosphere. So let's start off at uh, number 10. I got two guys Tied at number 10, uh, young or relatively young um, Gambino, I'm told Capos, Mikey uh, Yanati, and Vinny Marbles, Dragnetti. Vinny is uh, the son in law of uh, uh, Nikki Carozo, and uh, Mikey is a protege of, of Lenny Di Maria and uh, the Carozo brothers. Um, they're tied at number 10. Let's go to number nine. Uh, Sally K.O., uh, Salvatore Larca Jr. He is, I'm told, acting boss right now. Or sorry, not acting boss. Sorry, Sally. One day. Uh, acting capo um, for uh, Hippie Zam Zanfordino. Um, works out of Jersey, works out of the Bronx. His dad was a OG heroin baron from Harlem. Uh Goes all the way back to the '60s and '70s with the uh, with the West Side. Um, number eight, Billy Russo, super kind of underrated uh, mob power. People talk about the Persico Mafia dynasty and Andy Mush Russo, who was the cousin that uh, led the family as acting boss for for quite a while. Um. Billy Russo is, you know, behind the scenes, been been keeping some of the the Colombo family afloat in the uh, in in the more um, tumultuous years with with arrests and busts and um, and whatnot throughout the 2010s, early 2020s. So he's a guy to keep your eye on for uh, when his when his cousin. Teddy comes out. We're going to get to him in a second. Uh, number seven, uh, Joey Lebrano, a.k.a. Joey Relay, a.k.a. Big Joey from the Lucchese's, um, a guy that was the or is, was the protege of um, Stevie Wonder Crea and uh, a guy that has been a Relay man. That's the nickname. Um communicating as a representative for Lucchese administrators to other crime families. And a lot of people um, tag him for a future administrative post. And that brings us to number six. And uh, we just mentioned him, uh, Michael Zanverdino, AKA hippie. Uh, I'm told that he is possibly uh, in line to become street boss. When Danny Pagano steps away in the coming months, I'm told that that's kind of in the works right now. Danny is um, going into retirement. And uh, Hippie is a guy that goes all the way back to the chin uh, as a young guy in his teens and his 20s and was really trusted at that point, driving the chin and Benny Manga, um, Benny Eggs, uh, sometimes driving them cross country uh, down to Florida or uh to other parts of the country to take meetings and hippie was in jail uh, until three or four years ago and uh, came out and has got up to capo. So I think that uh, Sal hippie will move into some uh, more prominent post in the next year. And I'm told Sally Kale will take over that crew as official capo. Uh, number five, Ernie Aiello, the young uh, Mikey Mancuso protege in the Bananos. Uh, is into the admin in his 40s. Um, I carry him as acting underboss for Johnny Joe. Um, you know, goes by a number of different nicknames. Uh, the Pitbull, the Sledgehammer, 
little Machiavelli. I know he doesn't love all these, but I've, I've heard them from guys on the street. Uh, but, but Ernie is definitely a fast riser and uh, is already in the admin before I think he's 45 right now. Uh, so brings us to number four, Ralphie the Undertaker Balsamo, finishing up his racketeering sentence. Uh, he's been being um, groomed by the Genovese to, to be in an admin post. A lot of people consider him the future boss. Um, it's been locked up for a couple of years. He'll be in a halfway house probably by January or February. Um, and uh, his star is rising fast, even when he was locked up. Number three, Georgie Zappola, uh, Georgie Neck. He was also in our, uh, he's the only kind of crossover who was in our overall top 10, and he's in our uh, top 10 fast risers. He is either the current acting boss or soon to be acting boss of the Lucchese's. Um, blessed by Vicka Musso in prison and is being um, kind of taught the tricks of the acting boss trade by Big Mike DeSantis, who will be, I'm told, voluntarily stepping aside. And that over the last year, Georgie Neck has been um, kind of learning on the job, shadowing Mike DeSantis and being introduced to multiple other crime family uh, admins as the next guy up. So uh, Georgie Neck, again, another guy with a, a pretty... Rich Pedigree, his dad, Georgie Rush, um, was a capo who was murdered um, in some beef related to Sammy Gravano back in the 80s. Uh, our last, and he's, you know, he's Lucchese, uh, brings us to our last two. Number two, Andy Campos. Um, you know, he's been, a, he's been a rising star for a long time, and he stays that. Uh, people identified him, I think, in the 90s when he was only in his 20s. Um, as a guy that had future administrator, future boss um, written all over him. Some people call him Sonny. He, his dad was is Georgie, who uh, I'm told he sponsored and got made. Uh, Andy comes from the Lucasio wing of the Gambinos and went to high school with Puffy Combs. I don't know if that's a good thing right now. Was was Puffy's quarterback uh, in high school and just – I've never heard a negative word about Andy Campos. And anytime his name comes up uh, when I'm talking to my sources, people say, you know, this guy is going to be on the throne one day. Brings us to number uh, one and a guy that will be on the throne in the next two years. Skinny Teddy Persico has been tapped to continue that uh, Persico mafia dynasty. You know, his cousin, Billy Russo, we mentioned at uh, number eight, I'm sure that he'll, uh, Pretty sure that he'll, that he'll be a part of that as well. Skinny Teddy's been locked up for the majority of the last 35 years, um, but is the heir apparent, and he'll be getting out in 26. Uh, probably will be in a halfway house by next summer. And uh, little Rob D'Onofrio, who's the acting boss, um, will voluntarily step away and give the reins to Skinny Teddy, and uh, we'll have this kind of next Persico era. Uh, Teddy's only about 60 and uh, has been really thriving um, even from behind bars in terms of consolidating power and uh, is a guy that's really been itching to get this boss's, uh, the boss's spot, and it will be his sooner than later. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share uh, OG Pod. We'll be continuing giving you great content on a regular basis, uncovering the underworld, one city, one state, one country at a time. Check out the Patreon. We're doing some different stuff uh, on Patreon, a little bit more analytical, uh, sometimes not always dealing with traditional LCN. So check that out. And uh, I think we're going to do a, a sleeper ranking next. So check that out either later this week or next week where we're going to do top 10 NYC mob sleepers. OG Pod, I'm Scott Bernstein. Come out. Mm -hmm.